Today we're talking about this laser nozzle, where to find the lens, the versatility of this laser nozzle, and how to clean the lens assembly itself. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I like to lay down some sort of cloth, microfiber cloth, put on my rubber gloves, grab a lens cleaning cloth, and some isopropyl alcohol. The preferred is 99%, but if you have 91, that's okay as well. Now let's pretend for a second that this laser nozzle is actually mounted to my gantry. Your lens is going to be found in this location. And to gain access to it, you're going to want to start by removing the airline. And you do this by pressing down on the blue portion right here, and then simultaneously pulling up on the air hose until it pops out. Now what I like to do is to turn my air connector down so it's out of the way. And then you can actually loosen this collar by going counterclockwise. And what that does is it loosens this neck right here. So I can pull out this neck completely, okay? And I'm gonna put the upper half down just because I don't need it for right now. Now I have the lower portion of my laser nozzle. Now this is an additional collar, so this will just twist right off. And I'm gonna put this portion down. And now if you look under here, you'll find the lens. You'll also notice that there is a silver ring. That is a retaining ring. You'll see that it has some notches in there. And unless you have a special tool to remove that, you'll need to grab a pair of pliers, snap ring pliers, something that will loosen up that retaining ring. So I happen to have some jewelry pliers. Now you gotta be real careful not to scratch the lens itself. You just want enough to loosen the retaining ring. And this is why I wear gloves too. So once you get it loose, like I have here, I can just simply turn the retaining ring and I don't have to worry about getting my fingerprints on the lens housing it's, or the lens itself. And I can simply just work that retaining ring out. There you go. So I'm gonna pop this out. Now you'll notice that there is a white plastic washer. This is just to act as a barrier between the metal and the lens itself. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. Um, the outer edge of the lens is not where the laser beam travels. So we have access to the lens. Now we wanna clean it. I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna grab our lens cleaning cloth. I'm gonna grab some of our alcohol and I'm simply going to get a little wet Take our lens, clean it on one side, and clean it on the other. Okay, put it down, double check that the quality is good. You can see my face. Now one thing, this is important, you can see my face, right? That means the round side is up. If I turn it to the other side, you can't see my face. That means that's the flat side. Okay, we always want the round side facing up. Okay, so because our laser nozzle sits like this, that means we have to put the lens in this case upside down, right? So we're gonna put the plastic washer back in, find the round side, you can see my face. So the round side means it goes in that way. And then we're gonna put the retaining ring back in. 
grab your whatever device you're using to tighten or loosen the ring and just give it a little turn to make sure it's snug, but not too tight to where you can't loosen it the next time. There you have it, lens is clean. Now before I screw in the lower nozzle to this collar right here, I wanna show you guys this. So if you remove the blue collar here, this is why this laser head is versatile. You'll notice another silver ring. This is a retainer. Now there's nothing there, but if you wanted to put an 18 millimeter diameter lens, you can use an 18 millimeter diameter lens. This lens right here holds a 20 millimeter diameter lens. So if you had some extra parts or if you ordered the wrong lens, you can fit an 18 millimeter lens in here. Now this is suitable for a two inch focal length lens or a one and a half inch focal length lens. This uses a 2.5 inch focal length lens. So 18 millimeter diameter, 20 millimeter diameter. I just so happen to have an 18 millimeter diameter lens right here. So we're just gonna clean it real quick. Rag's still wet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. And now, because, remember what I said about round side, you want the round side always facing up. Now the orientation of this laser nozzle is gonna be facing down, which means the lens has to be installed facing up, right? So you can confirm my, you can see my face, round side is up. Then you take this retaining ring, Simply screw it on, put the blue collar back on, and for this edit, I removed the lens. Tighten this back up. Your laser nozzle is going to be mounted right there, right? So you might need to lower your bed to get it in there, but loosen the collar, slides back up. Tighten it, tighten everything. Okay, there we go. Take the airline, point it back up, plug in the airline, and you're ready to start lasering.